Hey, Stewart's Chapel, Brother Don Pearson here and Don Counts, and this is Friday's Devotion, and we are continuing our look at walking worthy uh, to our calling in, our, in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's that shared calling, the same calling that you have as a believer that I have, and that is to walk in a manner that exalts Christ and His purposes, His name, His walks worthy of Him. In order for me to do that, I've also realized that I'm going to have to be bold and unashamed. I want to take you to two scriptures, one in Matthew chapter 10, Matthew chapter 10, verse 32 and 33. Therefore, whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But who, whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. And then over in um, for 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. Therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share with me in the sufferings for the gospel according to the power of God. Do not be ashamed be bold. In the Matthew passage, it indicates that if we uh, refuse to confess him before men, if we deny him, that we are denied. In other words, we're no longer walking in the manner that is pleasing to him. Now, I recognize that this is a one-time, a first-time thing, but I don't think, believe it is a one-time thing. In other words, I believe that I am called upon to be bold and unashamed every day. It's interesting that Paul, you see, Matthew, you could say, well, it's just a one-time thing. You do it and, and you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you just move on. And you never have to do it again. But you see, in 2 Timothy, Paul is writing, Paul is writing a preacher. And he's telling him, do not be ashamed. The fact that he has to tell him, well, indicates that that temptation must always be there. Now, I can tell you, I've been at following Christ and sharing Christ for 40-some years. Um, there are some days where the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit is so overwhelming that boldness just flows and there's, there's no fear. And then there's days when I do not yield to the Holy Spirit and I know I should say something, but I sit and I am quiet. If I'm going to walk worthy of the calling, if you're going to walk worthy of your calling that is in Christ Jesus, you and I must do so boldly and unashamed. We must seize every moment to point people to the one that we are following. You know, Paul once said, follow me as I follow Christ. Now, the only way you can do that, if you're certain you're following Christ, if you and I walk worthy of our calling in a way of following Christ and not a destination, then you and I should have no problem and should not, be a, should not be ashamed to say, hey, that's where I'm going. I'm following him. Come and join me. Come and join me as I follow him. Yesterday I talked about this walking worthy requires a march, a corporate march of us marching together. I'm much, much bolder when my brothers and sisters who are in the march with me are bold. I have no fear or am not ashamed to declare who I'm following when those around me are the same way. I need you, my brothers and sisters, and you need me to be bold and unashamed. Let's see how we do today. Love you.